Hi YouTube! Welcome back to another episode of Be Chizzo. So I ran a poll to ask what people wanted to see in my next episode and you all said that you all wanted to hear about making a Tinder profile story time. And if you can't tell, I am back home in college. This is my first video since I've graduated from Illinois State. So uh, I just wanted to do kind of like summer story times, get ready with me, really simple things. So without further ado, let's get to the story time. I made a profile, I found out about Tinder my senior year of high school. So that's where I made a profile because all my friends in my class were like, yeah, we have profiles and we're hanging out with this person and this person. I've been texting this person for this many days straight. And I was like, wait, people are actually using this? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, okay, like, show me how Tinder works, blah, blah, blah. And so some of them were like, there's, you know, creeps obviously on there, but like then there are actually like decent people. So I was like, okay, this sounds like, you know, psh really cool let me make a profile so my first profile I'm not even gonna lie it was trash and I was just like I'm like this and I'm a preacher's kid and I like tacos and blah blah, blah and I like llamas like I was <laughs> I didn't know anything about dating so I was like really really awkward when it came to making a profile so my first profile was trash but I did meet people on there and it got really cool so uh I yeah I made one and right before I came to college I was like you know what like I don't want people around here to know I have a profile and it's more for just casual like things like just texting when you get bored at 10 or 11 at night and you know just like randomly face having somebody to FaceTime that not everybody else in the world knows about like like I said I went to college so I was like I don't want people to know that I have a profile so I was like you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna delete it but not delete the whole account just kind of put it on like you can't see me so I did that and I deleted the app from my phone so I just wasn't on there hadn't touched Tinder in a long time I was just you know going with the flow and everything but uh my sophomore year I think it was I kind of like was like I'm getting bored with dating life in college it feels like everybody is just like in their own world or nobody wants to date or I just can't find the right person it was just like every obviously everybody has their moments I wasn't trying to like you know do anything with anyone I was literally just trying to chill like I was just want to text want to get a meal like that was me so I was like okay you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna re-download the app it's been a minute I bet there's new people let me re-download it I was uh, going into the summer or whatever and I came back home and I like really didn't know each other anybody when I came back home I like knew the people from my high school obviously but I went to like a really white high school so I didn't know nobody black out here and it was just like you know like I just wanted to I just wanted to date but like chill just I wanted more than like just meeting somebody you know at the mall randomly or something like I really wanted like genuinely to meet someone so I was like okay you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna re-download Tinder and so I got on there blah blah met somebody they were really cool so like we ended up dating which was the crazy part we dated uh until the beginning of my sophomore year I was in school for like a week or two or whatever and we broke up like that's life we're still cool we're still friends and everything but that's how we met so the real juicy story the juicy one <laughs> happened when I was a uh in my sophomore year like halfway through my sophomore year it was like either Thanksgiving or Christmas break I still can't remember which one it was but this is like my sophomore year of college so I was it was like 2015 yeah oh my gosh it's a long time a really long time okay that was like 2015 though uh at the end so it was like november december obviously and there was this really uh drought time in life like it was a drought it was no one to text no one to talk to i was bored like always and where was i again not on campus but back at home so i was like oh you know what i deleted the app after i broke up with my last uh boyfriend from the app but like i was like you know what let me just re-download it because obviously good things happen when I re-download it. I went through a couple creeps and then all of a sudden uh, Tinder has started updating itself so like it wasn't just swipe right swipe left if you like somebody if you don't. It started being a little bit more advanced so it was like uh, you can swipe right if you like somebody, swipe left if you don't like somebody or you can even swipe up in the middle and that was called a super like. It was the stupidest thing I've ever heard of freaking super like. <laughs> Um, you can super like somebody if you swiped up in the middle and like super like was cool because you could see who really really liked you who really really wanted to talk to you so I see um, this really cool dude and I see that we you know super liked each other and I was like whoa like 
and I'm not gonna lie like this is back when I was a little naive looking back his pictures weren't even that great like he's he was really good looking a person which was like great when we actually met but um before he wasn't he wasn't even that cute like it was <laughs> I don't know why I liked him I'm in church one day and I'm like I'm sitting there at first I didn't even know we matched I'm sitting in church and I see my phone going off because this is back when like I had a tinder but I would keep my phone really close so people didn't know like and I would be like if I get a tinder notification I'd be like this in public because people like people associated tinder with like hookups and stuff so I, I, I don't want people to think that's what I was looking for because that's not what I wanted off of tinder so I'm thinking you know this guy is either really close tinder is supposed to tell you proximity but obviously like how close you are to somebody changes because people travel people do different things and I guess he was coming home for his break and so that's how we were able to match so after that day that we matched we talked that night um and we I think we talked the entire day and then we like FaceTime that night or something like that and we talked and FaceTimed every single day because I, I don't want to be catfish I'm not gonna be catfish like I don't care like I, I can't as soon as I match with somebody like if you're trying to talk to me or get my number or anything the first thing I'm gonna say is we have to FaceTime because I'm not the one like to catfish I'm not the one <laughs> I'm not the one so it's been like a month and we've been talking every single day and at the end um he like it started as a friendship that built into like a strong friendship so it wasn't like we just got on there because we like went zero to 100 like oh we met on an app oh we're meant to date like it wasn't like that at all we were straight up friends like his my parents knew he existed his parents knew I exist well his mom knew I existed and we were just casually like to we weren't together but we were talking like without saying oh we're we're talking like it was just a thing after that like it's the end of winter break almost and obviously everybody goes back to school your schedule changes my schedule changes life happens and you you live with it so like i'm thinking you know we go back to our regular lives but we still go facetime you know and stuff and keep up with each other and everything and then we realize like dang we actually like each other so right before uh, break ended he told me that he's going online to pledge a fraternity and we're not gonna be able to talk as much and I was like dang that sucks because we just met my parents are both Greek so I definitely like understand you know when like your fraternity or sorority will take over your life and stuff so I told him like do what you need to do blah blah but know that like yo I like you I really do I hope you like me too like <laughs> and he liked me too so that was like pfft. It was cool on me, like, but I was like, dang, this dude is about to be gone for like a month out of my life and stuff. And I, a lot can happen in a month, so it's like, what do we do? And so we decided to do something really cute where we made videos for each other, basically talking about like how we feel about each other, like, and stuff like that. And what we're hoping for the time that after he pledges, what we hope will happen. And in the video, in my video, I know I told him like he basically like meant a lot in my life. We shared a lot of like. Uh, things with each other and stuff and I don't know it was just a blessing having him and in his video he talked about like how I meant a lot to him as well and he's just really like excited to see what happens afterwards uh, f after his pledging process and so during the process we literally barely talked like we talked I think one time he snuck and talked to me but like that was it like we didn't talk at all and even after he got done pledging um, it was like it was a lot you have to understand we this is before we even met like this is still like coming out of winter break a month of into spring semester of sophomore year so like we literally had not met yet but like our communication was bad so it's like you you have bad communication with somebody you like and you've never met it's a very awkward position to be in and so i basically had to make the decision well we both did like if we were going to keep talking in a way and just avoid the bad like bad communication or if we were gonna like hope for the best or come back to each other later because in reality we like he went to school in New York he okay I should mention that he took a plane to Chicago which is how we met matched but he lives in Indiana I live in Illinois in the suburbs near Chicago a little bit but he I go to school in Illinois he went to school all the way in New York 
so like I didn't know that at the time so we still hadn't met um, the closest time we were gonna be able to meet with summer our communication kind of got like a little like like we had a lot to work on we just weren't vibing like we used to and it was like we had to like kind of like figure each other out again and stuff because we had, in that matter of a month like we just kind of like shifted a little bit he changed and I don't blame anybody for changing after their pleasure process it's not a big deal but you just have to like find ways to still have that friendship or that relationship or whatever it was at the time like you have to reestablish that because if you're changing and stuff like that through it you have to you know tweak some things we, yeah summer comes around so I'm done with my sophomore year going into my junior summer comes around and it's like yo like we want to meet and I told my parents like yo I want to meet this dude like I want him to come here whatever they were cool they didn't know how I met him my parents did not know they still don't know to this day unless they see this video that we met on the app <laughs> they think uh, we met at my school he was there visiting or something so like yeah they didn't know but <laughs> so I'm a terrible person but like yeah he came to my house we met I remember like I was dressed like an absolute bum but <laughs> we clicked right away I was smiling the whole time like a creep like because I was like oh my gosh he's here in front of my face it was whole life like a real like like you're here then my junior year rolls around and our communication again school started so our communication just gets off like it was just every time we were in school is when we had bad communication so I blame school for things not working out but that's okay life happens <laughs> We tried being together as much as possible, but it was just a lot to work through. And so sophomore year, we had a few bumps, but junior year, we had a lot of bumps. And I think um, we were probably like out of the whole junior year, we were probably together like half of my junior year. Summer of my junior year comes around and we're like not together really, but we're still talking. You know, we were in that awkward stage where, you know, you still like somebody, but they might not be like good for you. It might be like a toxic relationship, I guess you can say. And so we were at a stage where like he may be dating somebody and then he'll tell me about it or he may be talking to somebody, he'll tell me about it and vice versa. It was a very like awkward situation, but this person um, was genuinely my best friend, like knew probably like more about me than a lot of my friends that I have now and so he was my best friend so it became very easy to like just cling to him again and stuff because we talked about everything like from family issues to relationship issues to like health and stuff we just talked about everything so I don't know it just it was hard letting go for real for real and I think everybody can relate to that so then my senior year rolls around and we literally like barely um talk senior year and then all, all of a sudden like I just get this overwhelming urge to be like hey are you okay how's life are you good are we good like what is it and we kind of like talked but didn't talk during my senior year and so one day he kind of just says like you know what about you visiting me and this time like one time I was supposed to visit him before in Indiana but that didn't work out um it's just a lot that didn't work out this time he was like basically saying come see me in New York and I'm oh, <laughs> New York New York that New York New York and like that was a overwhelming like huh, I don't want to see somebody in New York I don't want to travel out of my way what if things don't work out what if I'm a bum on the street because you get mad at me like it was just a lot of thoughts running in my head but I kind of like sucked it up and I was like whatever so I visited him and <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say on that I did visit him I didn't tell anybody I told like two friends that was about it like I when I saw him, we had a great time. Uh, came I came back to my campus like, and I kind of just was like, I really like him. And again, though, school kind of just took over our lives. It became like he was overwhelmed with tests, and I, I was just overwhelmed with life in general too. Like down in my school, I had a lot of positions to handle, and it was just like, it just didn't work out, and so. After that, I kind of gave up on that relationship, but um, everything obviously did start with Tinder. And so when people like bash Tinder and say like, oh, it's just a hookup site and stuff like that, Tinder is what you make of it and stuff. So some people will say bluntly like, oh, I want to smash, but then other people will say like, I'm looking for something real. And some people are just go with the flow. And I was very much at the time like go with the flow. Like I didn't want to hook up with anybody, so I would tell them, but like I just let life happen. And I usually found some dope relationships off of Tinder, so I don't know. But yeah, like that's my little Tinder story. I know I didn't go into like heavy, heavy detail about the person that I dated from there. So I know a lot of you probably have questions and stuff like that. So if you want extra stuff answered, just leave it in the comments below or DM me or something if you can relate to my story.